the third time I've been caught with this stuff. There's our lawyer now. I had a doctor's note for, like, glaucoma or something. This guy has the best medical marijuana defense in Manhattan. <laughs> Someone likes Matthew. Like, that guy's a great judge of character. Frank M. Beans! Case in point. Buddy! You haven't changed. It's like going back in a time machine. And you look exactly the same as the day we met. Want to get lit? Maybe after dinner. <laughs> Prosecutors on the move. You should have stayed home. Well, Matthew's got at least one enemy. And Frank's got two. Got Matthew in sight. Lionel, gonna need you to pull a copy of a 1994 police report from Westchester. Let me guess, you're gonna... Wow. Got the scoop on why all these women are so fond of you, Frank. Hmm. You gave the brunette a promise ring, then slept with her best friend, the redhead, before having a fling with the blonde. Well, oh, that's not too bad. Whose mother you seduced? Oh. Looks like someone still believes Matthew killed Claire. A night to remember just turned into a night for revenge. <laughs> you believe I lost my car keys? Thanks for the ride. Didn't see anyone else offer. Mm, I'm not surprised. Seems like Doug doesn't want you here. Not the only one. Do you want to talk about it? Nah, I don't dwell in the past, so. This is me. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm right next door. Oh, yeah. That is a coincidence. Yeah. Lucky one. All right. Good night, buddy. Good night. Hey, rooms occupied. This is an emergency evacuation. What? Why? Bed bugs. You're now in room 304. Get your own room. No vacancy. Something about a bed bug scare. Did you forget your robe, Shaw? Forward operating bases don't have the luxury of single sex showers. You got a problem with me, you can bed down with the bed bugs. I've got ears on Doug. You keep an eye on him till he left the party? Yeah, he went straight home. One bed. The floor's better anyway. Agreed. Matthew next door? I was just about to have eyes on him, thought I'd unpack first. Good idea. Fusco came through with a police report. Claire Klein's death was ruled an accidental overdose from hydrocodone. Doug saw Matthew leave with Claire that night, but Matthew told police they got into a fight after prom. She got upset, took his car, and Matthew claims he never saw her again after that. But Doug doesn't believe his story. Well, according to Matthew, Doug's not the only one. So who else is out for revenge? <laughs> 